Hi everyone, this is a video about graphing derivatives. Um, a lot of people struggle with this, so I hope I can communicate with you some basic principles uh, about how to do this successfully. Um, we're going to start with a graph of y equals f of x. Uh, I won't tell you what it is. I think most of you can work out what that function is there. But we want to graph the derivative. Yeah, what, but first we think about what do we know about the derivative. Well, I know that at that point there, at the minimum, the derivative is zero. To the left of that, the derivative is uh, ne negative. It's, it's a decreasing curve. It's negative. To the right of it, it's positive. So the graph of the derivative is going to be zero here, on this side it's going to be negative, so it's going to be below the x-axis. X and on this side, on the right-hand side, it's going to be above the x-axis. So actually, it's going to look like that. Okay, because the derivative down here is negative, and the derivative up here is positive. Okay. Um, we get a straight line there. That's because we've got an x squared relationship here. So the derivative of that will be 2x. But um, you can see how this is a smooth change towards 0 and a smooth change away from 0. It starts slowly and gets steeper. So that is why the graph of the change would be also a smooth straight line. Let's think about the second derivative. Well, this is straight line, so the second derivative is constant. It's always got the same gradient, and it's positive because it's rising from left to right. So the second derivative would look like that. Okay, let's try another example. Here's a, a graph, and uh, I don't know what the equation to that is. And we don't have very nice points there, so it would be... A little bit challenging to work out, maybe. Um, but let's write down what we do know. At those two points, at the maximum, the local maximum and the local minimum, the derivative, the derivative is zero. On the left here, the derivative is positive. It's increasing curve. Between the maximum and the minimum, it's decreasing, so the derivative is negative. And then after the minimum, the derivative is positive again. So, we've got to think about how to draw that. And we know that our derivative would look like this, because at these two points, the derivative is 0. On the left here, the derivative is positive. In the middle, the derivative is negative. And then the right, the derivative is positive again. These two lines might help you. Okay? At this point here on the function, the derivative is zero. At this point on the function, the derivative is zero. Between those two dotted lines, the derivative is negative. You can see that by the green curve being below the line. You can see that by the purple curve, our original function, um, decreasing. And then to the left of that dotted line, to the right of that dotted line, you see the purple curve was increasing, so the derivative was positive, so you can see the green curve, the graph of the derivative, is above the x-axis. It's positive. Um, now let's think about the second derivative. Well, we know that at the minimum here of the derivative, the second derivative must be zero. Um, while I've got this red line here, you can see that that crosses the original function at a point of inflection where the curve goes from concave down to concave up. Uh, on the left hand side the second derivative is negative and on the right hand side the second derivative is positive. You can see that through the slope of the derivative. You can also see that because the slope of the original curve is changing from 
positive to negative, so the slope is going down, so the second derivative is negative. On this side, the slope's going from negative to positive, to, so the slope is increasing, so the second derivative is positive. And that's what it'll look like. Okay, you've got your important points there, where you've got your zeros, but you've also got your important point here, where the second derivative equals uh, zero negative to the left, positive to the right. One last example, and I've drawn everything already here. Purple is our original function. It has a maximum, oh, sorry, a local minimum there, local maximum there, local minimum there. And you see at each of those places, we have the green, the derivative, equals zero. In between those, we have a negative slope, so it's a negative derivative, a positive slope, so your derivative graph is above the x-axis. In between here, we've got a negative slope, so we've got a negative derivative, so the green graph's below the x-axis. And here on the right, we've got an increasing slope, so our derivative's above the x-axis. You can look at the second derivative the same way where we have a maximum and a minimum on our first derivative. That's where the second derivative is going to be zero. You can see through those dotted lines there. And you can um, see that it was positive, negative, positive. So the second derivative graph will go above the line positive, below the x-axis, negative, above the x-axis, positive. Um, and if you look at the second derivative, compare it with our original function, you'll see that where the second derivative equals zero, we've got our points of inflection. They may be a bit harder to see here, but you can see it's going concave down, and here it's concave up, and then it's concave up, and here it's concave down. Okay, I hope that was a little bit helpful, and uh, just review those three examples. Um, Remember, you can move these up and down, left and right, but the shape of the curves would remain the same. Okay, good luck.